Hi, welcome to Bathing at My Smart Puppy. Who knows how this is going to go? Uh, <laughs> Chester needs a bath, so I figured we'd include you in it. So first thing we need is tepid water. People generally use much too hot water, and that'll make the dogs struggle. Hi, sweetie. Good job. And the next exciting bit is getting your dog in the tub. I generally do this without a lot of drama. First I ask, come on, go boy, go. Oh. And if it works, count yourself lucky. What a good boy. What a nice guy. Thank you. Now when I bathe him, when I wet him down, I'm going to wet his neck but not his head. Because the head is what makes them shake. So if you wet the neck and the body, you can get most of the dog washed without them shaking like crazy. So it's nice to have a handheld. You can also use a bucket and a scoop or a piece of Tupperware or something, but if you can get a handheld shower, so much the better. All right, that's semi-wet, and semi-wet is where you have to start. I have watered the shampoo down a little bit because if you dilute it, it tends to go into the coat a little bit better. Hi. Whoops. Oh boy. And we're going to scrub all of him eventually, but we're not going to take you through all that because really, how much time have you got for this? This is going to take me a good 15, 20 minutes to get it all done. But once I've done his body, I rinse it really thoroughly. And when I think I've rinsed enough, I rinse some more. Because if you leave soap on the dog, it'll make him itch. And then when I've done his body, oh, what a good boy, then I do his head. And when I wet his ears, I want to be careful not to spray the water into his ears. Because that's just rude. You are such a fine, noble dog. Yes, you are. And when I wet down here, I'm careful that I'm not spraying it into his ears. If you spray it into his ears, you're going to get a dog shaking right away. Good. Good boy. Good job. You are such a nice dog. Yes, you are. You are such a nice guy. Get a little bit under the chin. And then we rinse. And after you're all rinsed with the head, and you rinse it as carefully as you wet it, so that you don't get those ears soaked inside, and don't cause him to shake. And then, we have a nice clean dog. I'll turn off the water, I'll towel dry him, he'll come out, he'll run around the house like a crazy dog, he'll roll on everything, he'll get on the bed, so be warned, that happens. But actually, right now, because we're not just doing the magic of TV, we're actually washing the dog. I have to finish the job. So I'll see you later. What a good boy.